the two home games that we have are against Boulder Creek and Sandra Day O'Connor in March and in April. Once that crowd sees what boys volleyball actually looks like, I think that'll also pull more interest into next season when we're actually in Division Two. I believe Section Two is what we're going to be in because that's what the girls volleyball team is in. Just sat down. I was like, I want to start a boys volleyball program. And she looks at me. She's like, Okay, let's do it. That easy. And it really took me back because I even replied with like, I can't believe that is this easy. I was expecting something uh, a little like a rebuttal or something to make me have to fight for it. Basically what we do is if a student doesn't have insurance or access, we are kind of the go-between. SAFE provides with therapists without insurance for no charge. SAFE was originally formulated to serve the students in this district, and so it just makes sense to have this be the move. And it's just an essential program if we have a student in need. If I need more therapists, that's pretty much what the advisory board is there for, is to put the word out. There's licensed therapists on that board, and so it's kind of to facilitate getting the word out that maybe we might be in need of some more providers. The referrals come from the school nurses, and anyone in the school who sees a student in need will go to their school nurse, and the school nurse will contact me, and then I will get a little information, contact the parent.